Oh man, some Yu-Gi-Oh news happened that is actually worth talking about. Because it literally, and I do mean literally, uh, changes part, large uh, part of the portion of the game. And it is known as the Pendulum Summon. As you can see, this Yu-Gi-Oh card here is significantly different than how they usually look. It's because it has some new features on it. Last night, um, we got a bunch of news about these things. And, uh... At like 3 in the morning. <laughs> you're 3 in the morning. Thank you, Elliot. <laughs> He's trying to get better. What does he do? Stay up till 3 learning about Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, it's uh, very interesting because the mat, the, the you know the mat zones, uh, they have two new spots now, <laughs> so they've increased in size. They have uh, a red and a blue uh, zone, which are used to place uh, pendulum monsters in the mat spells. Uh, as you can tell from the cards, they are orange and green because they're part effect monster and part spell. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, little uh, jewel things determine um, their uh, pendulum size for the scale, which is what the red and blue thing are. And uh, according to the size of the scales, you can mass special summon from your hand once per turn. So, for example, if you have a one uh, monster with uh, one in their blue in the blue pendulum side and one with eight. So, if like this was eight, this eight was in the was in the red and this one was in the blue. Uh, it seems you can play anywhere between two and seven monsters from your hand in, in at once. That's pretty crazy. Uh, if you specifically bring out pendulums this way, they go face up in the extra when they die, as in they don't, I guess they don't go to the, the uh, top song, to the graveyard, they go back to the, they go to the extra deck face up. <laughs> and face up extra deck pendulums can be brought out any time when you pendulum summon. So, i.e., you can bring them out again. Uh, what dicks? <laughs> can't kill them off. <laughs> No, but I assume it's like the pendulums you put in there go away when you do it. <laughs> um, yeah, as I mentioned, they will, they'll all have effects for mon as monsters and spells, so you can use them as either or. Which is always nice because, well, you can justify running more monsters that way because they're also spells. Yep. Um... Not all that sure how I feel about it. Um, it's interesting. It's, it's, uh, they're trying something different. I it's, think really we're gonna have to see what more things they do to counter these pendulum monsters or to go along. Look, with if these they're even monsters. if they're even that significant, they could end up being nothing because they don't have enough good stuff to support it. For all we know, I'm sure that won't be the case because they usually don't do that. But it's always a possibility. Aren't they also going to be like the Arc 5's main thing? Yeah, it is. Right now? It is. Yeah. That's kind of the why it's here. Oh. I'm going to... They made Arc 5. They made a new... Just new way go. to summon things. But, it does, uh, but it, it does integrate well with, um, you know, the thing like Synchros and Xyz and stuff because it doesn't necessarily replace them. It's just a, another thing. You can yeah, do. it seems like it would actually help them by summoning more material to the field. Well, yeah, it can do that too. At least for Xyz, they definitely can. Um, well, but like I said, it's all remains to be seen. Uh, uh, if you guys, if in the comments have any uh, opinions of this, let me know in three lines or less, because I will promptly delete or ignore anything longer and um, feel free to predict what you think will happen with uh, these pendulums if they'll be like super big or if they'll just be a mechanic that's there and 
I guess that's really it for uh, for this. There's not really much else to say because we don't really know a whole lot about it about them, other than then these two cards and uh, these three uh, monsters. So nothing else we can really do but uh, wait. I guess. It's interesting to say the least. It is. I'm glad. I, I am really glad they're doing something different for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Because it's like, if they were just gonna add another monster for the extra deck, it's like, come on. Well, we don't have much more room. Increase the extra deck, then. We need to increase the extra deck. So well, we I mean, did that. Well, I mean that's the thing. As far as I can tell, it won't even be so much of a problem because they are. They're based in the main deck, yeah, and then like, when they die, they go into the extra deck. So they made it like another extra deck monster, and they'd probably have to end up increasing that. Well, they'd have no choice because then you wouldn't be able. To, either that, or they'd have to give no support to Synchros or, Exe or an Xyz, so they can actually justify the room. I don't think they want to do that. That's why they made it so they're based in the main deck, and as they go away, they go into the extra, extra deck, <laughs> something like that. Well, no more about it later but that's not here or there I uh, I'm was trying to talk about how I'm glad they're trying something different because well they really need to either way you look at it because well Yu-Gi-Oh is doing okay here because like we mentioned before about people being really insecure about trying new things because well people are insecure um, in Japan they are very willing to try new things not necessarily giving up the old thing, but trying new things. And because of that, Yu-Gi-Oh! is dropped very significantly from the top. As Vanguard is now the big thing there. It's been the biggest thing there for over a year now, actually. And this is clearly an attempt to try to make the game have a new elements to it that's not just another extra deck card. That's, you know, going to replace either Synchros or Seas. And I'm welcoming that. Uh, your opinions, Em? Um, I think it's very interesting that they're actually adding an entirely new side. Like, that is pretty big. I mean, they're basically changing part of the play format. And yeah. I think it's a very interesting step. I'd like to see more of what they're going to do. I'm not a really big Yu-Gi-Oh player, but I'm still <coughs> interested. You. It, it seems very interesting how, like, Instead of just, like, you could run your deck with just these if you wanted, but you could also add older s aspects into the deck and still be okay, as it seems. Yeah, I mean, old bad cards will still be old bad cards, but that's yeah, nothing you can do it, with that. It just makes it a little easier, maybe, to summon some of those old cards. I think it'll, I think we'll... Like, old good cards that had a problem with I, some I don't know. That's, not making it I don't know, that, like that's that. harder to see happen. Or newer ones that but, take a lot of cost. <laughs> Like I said, that's hard to see if that'll be true or not. But again, we don't we don't know a whole lot about. It. We only know two pendulums as it stands. There could be things that support other things entirely. Uh, I just hope it doesn't turn out like those um, um, zone monsters. If anyone remembers those, I know you two don't, so I'll explain. It's there. There's a series of monsters and spells that. Um, came out for like a set that were meant to uh, be able to move around in monster zones and if they lined up with certain things they could do stuff and all that like an idea like that was interesting but it never had good ca cards it never had anything good enough to really justify, justify using them because they were always either too weak actually most of the time they were too weak or they had to have a specific condition that you, where you had to have like I don't know what was it was like oh, your opponent had to have a card in the back row, a card in the front row, and you had to have a card in the front of that and behind that in one straight line to do something. I, I forgot what it was specifically, but long story short, you had to set up a lot and you had to rely on your opponent to do a lot of the things to make them work. Now I think if they had added more. Cards that also help you move your opponent's stuff around. It yeah. could have been something. 
But uh, but it, it didn't, and it died really fast. In fact, it didn't make it past that set that it came out. <laughs> so hopefully it's not as big of a failure as that because it's not the same as a, well, I could just throw the tech this into my extra deck or whatever because it's workable. I mean, it's you, you have to play it in your main deck. And then you've got to put them into those spots to use them. And it's possible that uh, we might see more decks that are monster like based like, yeah, like almost like yeah like seventy percent monsters just because these guys are spells themselves. I guess this means that once again Yu Gi Oh is trying to mimic Vanguard. It's probably trying to do something in the sense that it's trying to have everything be just monsters which can never happen unless they ban all of their sta all the staple spells they ban all spells and traps <laughs> nah they wouldn't do yeah, that minus these <laughs> monsters mind you no I mean they don't have any trap pendulums yeah. at least not yet so they might not so work out so well leave the traps ban all the spells <laughs> either way the point is is that that, that really they, I think that they are trying to make it so it's easier accessible to people who don't want to try to think about ratios too much by making the whole deck monsters being an actual option. But again, I can only say so much when we only have two examples. <laughs> so we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, any last words? Finland. Okay. I guess that's her last word. Um, I my only last words are I want to see how this goes. I, w I always want an example, a reason to try this game again. But every time I have a reason, it always ends up screwing me over in the end, and I end up leaving it anyway. It happened when um the noble knights came out, and then they all became secret rare, so I couldn't afford them. So I had to give them up. It happened when the uh, um, new rule things happened, but nothing really interesting ever came up. Came of it, yeah. and I don't want this to happen with these two, because I just, again, it's like the first card game that I really enjoyed enough to actually play regularly. Oh, something that not, well, something got me into card games for the sake of playing them. Cause I played mag I played Magic in the '90s. I played Pokemon. I played even played Digimon, but none of them really or games I actually wanted to play. Play like like Pokemon. I ended up only collecting them. Same with Digimon. <laughs> um, freaking Magic! I just I hated it so much playing it. It was just such a just boring game to me. Uh, and then I had this game come out, and it was just so fun. Just because it was, it didn't have as many stupid stuff at the time. And then it just slowly decayed and became one of those stupid games. And I never want to say that about this game, because I loved it so much. So, I'm hoping this is a good thing for the game. Something that can make it better. But it might not, it might not even leave an impression for all we know. <laughs> For the best. Yep, hoping for the best. It's these two cards as you see here are the protagonist's cards. He has two, and he's also the first protagonist, at least so far that we can tell, who does not have a monster with 2,500 attack. <laughs> so I mean, this where it's uh, anything's possible. Well, maybe his real main monster's in the deck. We haven't seen it yet. It's hard to say. I just know that I hope that this is a good thing for the game. There's nothing they can do about the um, things that they had in like the extra rulings, the sub steps, especially the sub steps. Those are the thing that really just kill the game for a lot of people, <laughs> like the priority and different steps inside the damage step. Like I mean, a lot of people get turned off Yu-Gi-Oh right then and there. Yeah, these two are exa examples right there. So I hope this at least makes it easier because I because honestly, if the if you could make a 
actually good deck that's like 70, 80, even 90% monsters. So then you guys say, yeah, I'm just going to put a bunch of monsters in here and oh, they have effects. I could just use this to uh, protect myself and whatever. I mean, it'll make the game a lot easier because you won't have a lot of, uh, you can't use it to defend yourself. Even though, you know, 8,000 life points is a lot, it's still a, not going to help you if you go two or three turns without having anything to defend yourself. So it's, um, and the mass special summon makes it so you don't have to worry about um, having a bunch of cards in your hand, but your opponent has a big monster who will just kill anything you normal summon, because you can just pendulum summon like a whole field. And if any of these pendulum guys here have the ability to be placed in the spell and trap zone and still be used as monsters, which I think would be amazing, because the show teased us with that at the Ori Calcos thing. I would like to see that become an actual thing. I would, I would be excited. Uh, but that's still the speculation, and I just really hope it works. So I guess that's it. Like I said, uh, feel free to comment your opinions about pendulum monsters and pendulum summons with three lines or less, preferably. I know calling it, if possible because it's kind of stupid to try to exclaim that you know how the meta is going to work when we know nothing of the cards or barely anything about the cards. So just just try to keep it um, opinion, just opinions or predictions. I guess that's it. Um, I guess at some point we'll get to a Vanguard episode uh, review because it was so... Uh, oh my god. Do we're we I'm doing it now, Em. I know, but just saying. Ugh. We'll probably do it when um, Elliot gets his voice back. I hope he's gargling the salt water like I told him to do. Warm salt water if he's listening. Do it, Elliot. And don't, no staying up till 3 anymore. No care if Yu Gi Oh! news came out. And <clears throat> after that, I hope we'll get to a deck profile. Uh. Because we have at least one body fight deck ready. Oh uh, yeah, one body fight and um, one vanguard, or I don't know if don't anyone know. else completed the deck yet. Well, no one in this room has, so there you go. I have no one else in this room. Um, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ignore her. So I guess that's about it. Um, uh, Snow is not being an ass. <laughs> yes, exactly. For the love of God. We're halfway through February. It needs halfway to through February tomorrow, and then the next few days after that, it's going to be in the high 30s, uh, high 40s. This is the last day of below uh, freezing temperature. Don't snow. I don't care what the weatherman says. I don't need three to five inches. Go away, snow. Even I, if I, it, it makes me lose my words because of how angry I am. It just had to go one more day, and it, and I've been okay. Cause then it'd just been rain. Yep. But no, it had it had to be today. So I hope it just does. It passes us over, or it doesn't snow as hard as they say. Oh, I've been praying this whole day. I guess we'll see what happens. Shoes, no shoes. So till next time, everybody. Stay buddying, stay vanguarding. Hopefully, start Yu Gi Ohing if it's okay. Um, screw the other ones. They're they're not really doing anything different nor trying to, because they don't feel like they have to because they're pricks. And fuck snow. Yes, and that too. Bye.